Let's see if we can replace the battery and flash mod this super old beat up what was a 30 gig iPod video. I've never done this before, so let's see what we can do. is really boring but I'm sure I will uh, fast forward all this so you guys can just see how much of an idiot I look like fidgeting with this okay all right Woohoo! okay so now the big thing is the battery cable which you need to disconnect Up. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Got it. Open. So yeah, you just pull up on that little tan piece. You don't actually take it out. Okay. So here is our hard drive and our battery. So. We've got our new battery over here, which I'm a little puzzled by now that I look at this because I feel like they sent it to me upside down. Because if I put it where it needs to be, the adhesive doesn't work. So I think I'm gonna have to pull this one out and take a look and see um, how I'm gonna make that work. But, so the big thing here is you don't want any of these other cables to move or disengage because you don't want to mess up any of your headphone jack connections or anything like that. So just very carefully pop up on these the adhesive that's on here holding that battery in. Just about got it. All right, sweet, so the battery is free. Get that in there. Nice and snug. All right, we're in. Okay, so now, disconnecting the old hard drive. Okay, so I guess you just pop it up. Oh, I see. And it's gone. Sweet. So yeah, there's the that black piece was actually just in that and you just push it. it pops right out. Sweet. So now I've got this pretty cool 2SD card for my flash. So I'm gonna load in my SD cards now. I'm gonna put two 128s in. So they're loaded in now. And then This is probably really stupid to do it that way. There we go. You hear that click? It's in. Okay, so then they send you this little piece of foam just to keep it from rattling around. Foam pad. Boop. Is there one on this side that I should have put one on? Nope. Okay, well, let it roll. All right, so now the, next, the last step before I close this up is gonna to be to 
reconnect this battery cable, which it should just push right in. And then uh, lock down the little brown piece again. So let's see. Got it in. And it's locked in. Okay. So there you go. It's updated. I'm going to plug it in and see if I get a reading. And to dig out the uh, old iMac from the closet here. I gotta find a mouse. Where is it? Boot up the old iTunes. Alright, and now let's connect. Let's see. happens here. I want to connect it before I put it all back together. Okay, we got some lights going on. All right. Detected a new iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before you can use it. Let's restore it. iTunes cannot contact the iPad software. Use the same version. Let's restore. Word. Restoring, restoring. Cool. Keeps flashing. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it worked. Two, one. Rip. God. Where are you, buddy? Oh, we got, we got a bar. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Come on, okay, glowing. Hey. I had it locked. As soon as I unlocked it, it showed up. So let's see, we'll continue. 238.89 gigabytes. It's a lot better than 30. All right. Cool. Well, I can eject this bad boy. Disconnect it. Snap it all back together. Tight. Ooh, crunchy. That side is probably gonna be a little loose just because that's the side I pried it on. I watched a uh, one person said before you close it to really pinch it down, which I did not do, so I'll probably have to do that quick, but other than that. Look at that. Click wheel extravaganza. Okay, folks. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a little bit easier luck cracking that thing open, but yeah, pretty easy. Thanks to iFlash and a new battery.